So coming to the economic aspect, economic aspect is the bedrock of the India-UA relations, and we can see that currently we have around 85 billion dollars, and we are we are planning to make it uh, soon into uh, 100 billion dollars in a few years. So we have recently signed uh, the bilateral investment treaty by which uh, we will be further further increasing the investments. But looking at the current state of affairs, we can see that uh, economic relations are mainly focused on three uh, like energy. So what we are doing currently is that we are focusing on moving away from the uh, non-renewable sources, that is uh, uh, oil and uh, other forms, to uh, a cooperation in the uh, more newer or cleaner forms of energy, which is solar, uh, wind, as well as uh, hydrogen. So this is something that we are focusing on. Also talking about two other current aspects, I'd like to talk to you about how uh, Indian UAE are moving towards trading in uh, rupee dirham, and uh, we have recently had exports of uh, petroleum or oil through uh, use of rupees. And another uh, current uh, affair that I would like to mention to you is that there is a uh, convergence whereby uh, we are trading now with uh, rupee and J1. So you know about rupee, which is part of India's. Uh, system, financial system, and also J1, which is of UAE, so that cooperation is coming through. As well as a five years in the recent uh, visit of uh, Prime Minister Modi to UAE. It is also important to know that many Indian companies have actually set up uh, manufacturing units, either as joint ventures or in special economic zones uh, for cement, building materials, textiles, engineering products, consumer electronics, etc. in UAE. So, coming to the next uh, hot topic that is strategy. So this is the most interesting part for me because there are several uh, affairs that are uh, happening in the current uh, current time and this is a significant uh, prospects for India's future as well. I'll be telling you what uh, it is. So, so the first topic is IMEC. So this is India Middle East uh, EU corridor. So this will be passing from India and it will be connecting us to UAE passing through uh, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel and from there towards uh, EU. And uh, this is uh, in news now because this is a, a multimodal kind of uh, project that will be uh, connecting India uh, with the uh, Middle East as well as towards the Western Europe. And why this is important is because this is a bandwagon against the China's Belt and Road Initiative. So we will be building a new, uh, there is an earlier plan for a different kind of program that is called. Uh, uh, the diamond of necklace program against uh, China, but now we are developing this as well. So, and secondly, we have I2 U2. So, this is India, Israel, UAE, and uh, United States uh, uh, alliance of these four countries. So, which is also being dubbed as Middle Eastern Quad. So, and also we have defense cooperation. So, this is an image from the Desert Eagle 2 exercise that happened with uh, between India and UAE uh, Air Force exercise. And finally, we have counter-terrorism. Counter-terrorism is also important because uh, this is a part of the political relation that I was talking about earlier. Because both the countries have convergence in uh, how to act with regarding uh, with regard to uh, pol uh, political uh, terrorism related affairs. So we can see that India is moving closer towards UAE. UAE is doing so with India uh, by replacing Pakistan, which is close to uh, China. And also, India and UAE has some kind of convergence on the policy towards Afghanistan, as some experts say. So why all these are important? This is because India's maritime future is closely linked to this area and also we can say that uh, there is something called Blue Water Navy. So India is not a Blue Water Navy as of now because India's limited uh, operational capability uh, as far as the whole oceans are concerned. But in this area, India will be a regional power, increasing regional power and that will eventually help us in uh, making us the Vishwa Gujar superpower as was what we decide to be uh, in the future. So uh, from being a regional power to a uh, world power, this can be kind of considered as a baby step. So also defense cooperation, this is important because UAE might import uh, arms from us and also we will be having more exercise in the future.